All right, today we're gonna to do a review on my uh, Polytech M14. It's okay gun. Um, I, it's uh, the difference between this and the, my cat, excuse me, uh, this and like the M1As is, uh, one, this is made in China, so that's interesting. And two, it's got a forged receiver versus a cast. Which honestly I don't think makes much of a difference. People say it's a lot better, but I don't know. Um, the finish on these is not as good as a uh, uh, Springfield Armory M1A. But this M14, because remember M1A is uh, Springfield Armory's term. This They're just calling this an M14, which is exactly what uh, it's modeled after. Is it's all right. I mean, the, you can feel the stock's not the same quality. I probably can get a GI one and add that on. Um, I believe this is a um, band model because it's got, or a, excuse me, a salt weapons band model because it doesn't have the cuts on the flash hider nor the bayonet lug. Honestly, it doesn't make a big uh, difference to me. Um, magazines, it came with a uh, uh, five round magazine, which works fine, but it's hard to get it in and out. So I bought this 25 round magazine and it, it works just fine. Um, added a GI uh, sling to it, just to make it a little bit more realistic. And I added actually a GI uh, heat shield on top. Makes it a little nicer. Sights are very M1 Garandish. You can see uh, that it's a Polytech China. M14S308. So I've shot uh, 762 by 51 out of this. I probably could shoot 308, but um, I just haven't. But yeah, it's 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 a good gun, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the M14 series of rifles. I, I prefer the Garand. This I mean, the trigger's pretty good on it. Um, and I, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure you can use a lot of GI parts on this. I mean, it's, uh, the cool thing about this one is if you know where to look, you pretty much can get these for under a thousand bucks, which is good. Um, I honestly don't think the uh, Springfield Armory M1As are worth the 1500 they're asking for them, but you know, hey, to each his own, I guess. And if you, you're just like me and you just want something close enough to something used maybe in Vietnam, uh, then yeah, I'd go with something like this uh, or, or maybe have one uh, overseas somewhere else. But it's got the stripper guide. Um, if you just want to load, you know, use stripper clips. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, magazine fed. Uh, you can get anything from five rounders to they even make drum magazines for these things. But yet, yet it, oh, and it's got uh, a little damage to the stock. Um, got it from some gun shop here in Virginia. And, you know, you put your cleaning kit in there. There actually is a cleaning kit in here, but it's hard as hell to get out, so I just leave it in. And if I ever sell this thing, you know, whoever buys it next will have a little present. And yeah, and I, I could switch out the flash hider. I might. I'm, I'm just... I'm just not that into it. I mean... Or that motivated and changing around, and you know, it's kind of cool to have an American uh, designed weapon uh, made by the Chinese. So, probably not the only thing, but yeah, all right. So, um, please like and subscribe, and uh, let me know any questions or concerns down in the comments. Thanks, bye.